All right, guys, we just recorded a commentary for the movie Joysticks coming out from the MVD Rewind Collection. Part of the MVD Rewind Collection, right, Eric? Yeah, of, of course this is going in the Rewind Collection. Needs to be uh needs to be a 4K laser vision, but maybe, listen, maybe down the line at some point. Maybe down the line. But we also got Jesse from Diabolic DVD. I learned tonight that Joysticks is also a euphemism for a penis. Yeah. Thanks to Eric. I didn't I didn't get that subtle um part of the movie Joysticks There's until lots Eric of explained it to me. Double entendres that you know mm. the movie's like an onion. You you just peel pieces off and off, and every time you watch it, you, you pull something new out of it. It's captivating, really. Yeah. Got a lot you of just wisdom. Pull the foreskin back, and there it is. <laughs> it has so much to teach us, you know, if we just if we're receptive. <laughs> Like, let us learn from you, Joysticks. Absolutely. <laughs> this will be, we're recording this immediately after we recorded the commentary. So we're not going to say any dates or anything like that because that could change. But here's what you need to do. You need to go over to Diabolic DVD and pre-order that bad boy. Yep. Uh, lock in your order because you are not going to want to miss this. And if you already have it and you're like, I don't know if I want to double dip. Oh, you do. You absolutely you know why? want to double dip. Because... If you pre-order, you're guaranteed to get that limited edition slipcover. And this is the great this is the slipcover of slipcovers, in my humble opinion. It's the best one. It's the slipcover really cool. is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody the that Academy loves Award goes to the slipcover. <laughs> <laughs> anybody that loves joysticks and video games and slipcovers, this is the release for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. How much of the the slipcover makes a big difference in the sale? Like there's a lot of slipcover. Uh, let's we say enthusiasts, right? That's a big deal for a lot of people, isn't it? I I spend a lot of time during the day answering emails. Does this title still have a slipcover? And ninety percent of the time, it's no. It's something that came out two years ago and doesn't have a slipcover anymore. But it's it's a lot of my day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get we get a messages sent here all the time asking, especially when we have a sale or something going on, if it still has a slipcover. But I always, you know. When it comes to movies like Joysticks or any of the new releases, uh, I always say, like, if you want a slipcover, you got to pre-order. I know people like to wait. Maybe they might get it a buck or two cheaper or whatever. But, you know, if the slipcover means that much to you, you got to buy it. You got to buy it early. And yeah, what, better, it. what better place to buy that than Diabolic DVD? Doc, that's right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Pre-orders are important, too, right? Because that helps you really figure out how much you need to get, how much, how many order. he needs to order. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's true. The the pre-order, it not only locks in your order, but it lets me know, okay, I have, you know, if I have five pre-orders, I'm not going to order a hundred copies of something, but you know, I can, I can gauge very well how many I'm going to need based on the number of pre-orders. Yeah. So, all right. So do we like joysticks more or less after this commentary? I like it more. I have more appreciation for it now than i did two hours ago it's fun i love i love joysticks yeah it's good it's good time you know uh it, it's a fun throwback uh movie uh make a great double feature with uh spring break or porkies or something like that but. it's totally awesome or the wizard the wizards and joysticks is my next family movie night <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of similarities to the wizard too, uh, and it, it makes a good sister, like a good companion volume to Final Justice, which is part of the MVD Rewind collection too. Yes. But Joe Don Baker, Graydon Clark. Yeah, we got to get some more Graydon Clark. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this was fun, guys. Um, we want to encourage everybody to go check it out. Uh, maybe there'll be more details in the description of this video by the time you see it. But this was so much fun. Like doing a commentary, Eric Wilkins. How many commentaries have you done? Uh, I don't know. It might be my my third or fourth. I did two for my own movie i did one i think i've done one or two for my own movies and uh we did the die hard one and of course we did just <laughs> yeah that doesn't count no one heard that yeah <laughs> nice uh we got a lot of you how, how many views did we get on the die hard one i don't know i can if you want to vamp for a second i'll go check it oh, out man. you did a commentary on the violence movie right eric oh that's right i did i did hmm. but i always say that i don't quite count that as a movie but it counts Why? Why don't you count it as a movie? It's got vi it's got movie in the title because it's seventeen minutes long. <laughs> it counts. It's a short film. I'll say this about joysticks: out of all the titles that I got to pick up, 
uh, when this came available to us, I was super stoked to put it out because, uh, and and I discovered recently uh, that Jesse and I, you know, saw the movie at the same theater, probably around the same time. Uh, well, it had to be because, you know, how long was that movie out for? You, you were a kid growing up in the 80s. You know, these movies like this were, were how you spent your Friday night, so. Yeah, and you were only four years old when you saw it too, which I can't believe. <laughs> That's, right. That you That's right. That's yeah. right. Our diehard commentary has one thousand one hundred views, which is shameful. Yeah. People, yeah, man, what are you doing? Go check out the diehard. Yeah. What are this you doing? This man loves diehard. He bleeds diehard. I do for you. You be Kanye, Eric Wilkinson. I do. I do love diehard. Right? Yeah, and that's looks like if we're gonna do it again, we need the support. Just That's like right. you would pre-order a title, we need to know that you want more Eric Wilkinson diehard commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a commentary on one of Jesse's released movies, like some it's some Italian crime movie that I've never heard of. <laughs> that Good. sells think... an ungodly amount of units too, or whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm all for that. <clears throat> Well, it's got to have a cool slip cover. Cauldron now. stuff's good. <laughs> I was saying to Jesse, you know, I, we were talking on the phone. I'm like, why don't you have your own label? Why don't you do your own label? Because I knew that, you know, you had everything else in place. I just knew. I, I always said that um, you did such a great job with the, the Diabolic brand as far as uh, uh, building up a, a strong consumer base that loves buying stuff from you that I knew that immediately if you when, you know, if you ever did start a label, which you did, uh, that you, you would, it makes it easier because you've already built up the trust with the consumers and, and they already love what you do. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You know, Eric, I interviewed Jesse uh, recently. I won't put a date on it because I don't know when this is going to go up. But as soon as the <laughs> video hit, all the comments were like, I love Jesse. He's always so cool to buy from. Like he has built that relationship with his customers and they don't just see him as like well that's the diabolic dvd guy like they see him as like he's like a friend you know he's like somebody that's a part of that community helping yeah. them to get the stuff that they want which is like that's really really cool because that's not something that you can just snap your fingers and you do you have to earn that you have to build that and what's great like what i and i i know we're not you know uh, bowing down to jesse's greatness which i don't <laughs> mind doing what I, one thing i love is like being a uh, I'm a diehard you know now when I say a diehard collector yeah. I don't actually mean about the movie but also a diehard collector it always comes back to diehard yeah no, but I wasn't actually referencing the movie then but now I'm self conscious about using that term um uh, the one thing I love being a being a diehard collector uh there's lots of movies that don't come out here in the U S that I want on 4K or something like that and like it just makes it easy to get. You know, I'm talking to you, Studio Canal. <laughs> yes, he gets a lot of those good Studio Canal titles that they, for whatever, inexplicably, uh, Lionsgate doesn't decides not to put out. So, yeah, uh, I don't even understand that. I mean, Lionsgate, did they ever even put out Basic Instinct? They didn't on 4K. I don't think so. Yeah. Is that, huh. That's nuts, right? But. That's a great example of a title that you can get a Diabolic DVD if you want that on 4K. That's really odd. odd. Necessarily common everywhere else. And the other thing, unlike, say, Amazon or the other places, not that this is turning into commercial for Jesse, <laughs> but no, but like if you're a collector, what's great about like um, when you order something from Jesse, he respects the fact that it's got a slip cover. And that you don't want, you know, you want a nice, pristine, clean slip cover. Amazon doesn't give a shit. They just put it in a padded envelope or whatever that thing is. They call a padded envelope. And it might be bent or or, or dinged yeah. or whatever. Uh, Jesse makes sure that uh, you order from him. It's going to be packed in a way that's going to protect the what's inside. You know. I love that. Like, because as collectors, we want, you know, we, I'm like looking at myself. I want like when my slipcovers in my Vestron video collectors series is lined <laughs> up, they look mint <laughs> all next to each other. Yeah. So he makes sure that when he sends you your stuff, that you're getting it packed right. And that's important. We need Jesse to start carrying other things that Amazon sells that he doesn't like toys. Like you got to start carrying action <laughs> figures now. Oh no, I don't want that. <laughs> do the, oh. do the mainstream. You guys start carrying the Marvel movies for the people that want those. 
<laughs> he doesn't carry the Marvel movies? What? No, I don't. No. Oh, that's right. Well, it's, it's just I'm not. not I, we, we, this could become a whole separate uh, thing here because I could yeah. start asking questions about, you know, what he does and doesn't carry, why he doesn't carry certain things. I, I mean, it's actually kind of interesting when you think about it. Is it, you know, uh, is it because, like, when you decide what something to put on your site, do you, when you have the opportunity or, or think about putting something up, uh, do you try to connect the movie with sort of the brand of what you have? Like if it's not the right movie, even though it might be a popular movie, like I'm guessing you can't get the little mermaid on your site, which would make sense. But is that something you consider when, when you decide whether or not to list something? I mean, I would, I would definitely not carry the little mermaid and not because I don't like the movie, but, I just don't think that I'm the the shop that people go to to look for a little mermaid. Yeah. You know, I, I do have people that email me and say, hey, can you get me, someone emailed me today, a regular customer, asked me if I could get uh, the way we were for him. He okay. wanted to add in an order. So I can always do that. That's easy. But, but that's not a thing on the that... website. I, you know, I don't know if I want to take up shelf space with the way we were yeah. when I could have other stuff. In W, I didn't know you did special orders. That's good to know. So I didn't know that don't either. See it on the site, you know. People watching this right now know, like, well, I'm going to be ordering uh, this horror movie and, and and this action movie and this uh, Italian crime film. And let me ask him if he can get me a copy of Margot at the wedding. Yeah, I mean, I certainly can. Do if you want available. this out there? Are you sure you want this out there? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. I do. I do it all the time. It's cool. Very cool. Well, I'm going to tell somebody, tell the people something that they won't know from listening to the commentary. While we were recording that commentary just now, I was playing with this knife and I cut myself and I started <laughs> bleeding and I texted my wife, can you bring me an alcohol wipe? And, the <laughs> day, and she brought it in. Nobody knew. And I'm telling it right now. So I got it. This happened during the commentary. You will not hear a scream of pain. I wanted to hear that. Like you should have said, oh, Actually, shit, I cut my finger. If you listen to the commentary, will you be able to hear when I cut my finger? That, that's a good point. Like, you should have a contest. If somebody could name the point where he cut his finger, yeah, they get a free – maybe you could send him, like, a freebie of one of your, your extra discs or something. Yeah. You're talking about Joe Don Baker, and then you say, like, ah. <laughs> right, so they'll be like, wait, is he, is he make? is that a comment on the performance that Joe Don Baker's giving or did he actually cut himself during that part? And maybe it's both, you know? All right, listen, let's sell this thing. So joysticks, Blu-ray, MVD Rewind Collection. If you already have it, you want to get it again because it's got cool special features and the sweetest cover art I have ever seen in my life. This is yeah. hands down the coolest MVD Rewind, Rewind Collection cover. And there's been a lot of great ones. Um, you do not want to miss this and a, a pretty loaded supplements package too. So it's decent. I wouldn't say load, you know, it's not. Well, arrow, okay. A couple it's commentaries. Not it's not diabolic or cauldron loaded, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> we ported over most of the previous, uh, well, the previous, all the previous bonus material. And we added a few, you know, a few extra things. So. All right. Well, guys, thank you. So th hey, Eric, thank you for inviting me for this commentary. Oh, thanks for having me. Jesse, yeah. it was awesome to do Likewise. this with you. Yeah. Anytime, guys. All right, gentlemen, until the next time. Yep. All right. Thanks.